Nadine. Welcome back to my channel for my art, Nadine Michelle Art. Thank you for being here. If you wouldn't mind subscribing if you're liking what you're seeing so far, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the bell and you will be notified each and every time I post a new video. All right, so today I'm doing um, the second one of the diptych that I um, did last week. So this will be the second part. Um, so I normally would have just painted them both together, but I just don't have enough space. So that's why I'm doing them separately. So this is a 12 by 24 canvas. This is a artist blocked um, level three gallery wrapped. I have the back taped just so it's not as messy on the back. And I also have these um, C hooks or cup hooks. I use those to level the canvas and I also use them um, to raise it off of my table. And they're also useful for when you're tilting because you can like pivot the canvas with them. Okay, so something I did differently. I did paint the edges like last time. Um, instead of using straight orange, I tinted it with some white to get it closer to the base coat color because last time I just painted the edges orange and you could kind of see it through on the negative space part. So that's why I did that this time. Like I said, I'm gonna do the adeptic and I'm going to do um, a flip cup, just a regular flip cup, not a grenade. It's gonna be a layered cup. And then I wanna leave some negative space. I'm using all the same colors as last time. I will put them all in this video and show you guys them all. Um, they are all mixed the same as the ones from last time as well. They're mixed um, two parts pouring medium to one part paint. My pouring medium is about 75% Floetrol to 25% GAC 800. And then I use a mix of, it's mostly water, and then a little bit of GAC 800 to thin it to the right consistency. Okay, that's a rough estimate though, you guys. I don't measure really. I kind of just like paint by feel and I put what I feel I need more of in there. After you do it for a while, you'll kind of understand what I mean. <laughs> you can just feel it. Okay, so here are the colors that we are working with tonight for the pour I'm doing. This is the base color. This is the cadmium orange hue, I believe it's called from Liquitex. And then I mixed in white until I got to this shade that I was looking for. It's like a lighter orange, like a peachy color orange. Okay. And then the next one I'm using is the Liquitex uh, Titanium White. I'm probably just gonna use a little bit of that just to like highlight it kind of. And then the next one, this is Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. And then I mixed in the white until I got to the shade I was looking for. Okay, the next one, this is the Liquitex Cadmium orange hue and then I mix in white again to get to the shade I was looking for which was this color. I just wanted it a little bit darker than the base coat. Okay and then the Liquitex basic cyacosine purple and then I added white in it until I got to the shade I was looking for which was this color. And here's the consistency. I'll show you with the purple and the pink because it's easier to see. So it leaves a mound. And not a huge one. Just a little mound and then it disappears. Here's the trace. Okay, it's not too thick, not doesn't just sink, and it's definitely not leaving a mound on a mound. 
And then this next color is a custom mix. It's Cronacridone Magenta. And then I put in just a little bit of the Dioxazine Purple until I reached this magenta purple shade. And then I added just a tiny bit of white to brighten it up. And there's our consistency again. Again, it's leaving a mound, not a giant one, and it's definitely not a mound on a mound. And it's not just sinking. And then we're also using, this is Golden Prussian Blue. And then I also had a little bit of ultramarine blue that I just had left over, so I just added it to this. And then the last color, this is another custom mix color. This is Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And then I added some Artist Loft Copper. And then I also added a little bit of white just to lighten it up because I wanted like a not in your face kind of gold and I didn't have the soft gold. So this is how I made it basically. And then I also wanted just a little bit of a copper tone, but not too much. Okay, so those are the colors we'll be using tonight. Okay. But everything's all the same as last time. Like I said, the only difference is I painted the edge a little lighter orange color. Okay, so we're gonna get started here. And I want to try very hard to not fill my cup too high this time. Last time I filled it way too high and it was really hard to flip over. So that's our goal for today. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put a base coat color down, which is the same color as last time as well. It's this peach color I made. This was made from the Lipex orange hue. And then I put white till I reached this peachy orange color that I was looking for. And I actually really like how these colors all go really good together. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put our base coat down and then we're gonna fill a cup. We're gonna flip it over, stretch it out, and then I wanna leave at least like a quarter of it negative space. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, in order to find out the amount of paint that we do need for this canvas though, what you will do as you'll multiply your length by your width. In this case, it would be 12 by 24. And then you divide by 28. And that'll give you how much paint you need. In this case, it was about 10 and a half, but I wanna leave a negative space. So I'm gonna use about five to six ounces and then plus our base coat, and that should be more than enough. Base coat first, and then I'll layer a cup. Okay, so I'm going to start putting our base coat on. How I like to put my base coat on is I just put it on here and then I tilt it out. For me, I get the best coverage that way and it's like all like smooth and I don't like when there's like bumps or anything in it. So yeah, that's how I do it. You get mad when I ask what you're doing Cut me up all night, just feeling stupid For wondering where you are So I want to make sure I get my edges good um, There was a couple um, issues with it Not really issues with my previous one But like on the side where I left negative space, I could see like drip marks from the base coat. So I just want to make sure I avoid that this time and check that really good. I mean, I was able to fix it and everything, but just it would be helpful if I could avoid that. That's all. 
Like turn the face coat to get rid of any bubbles that might be there. And make sure you pop those. Okay, so now we're going to layer our cup. I am going to do a layered cup. And I'm not going to fill this up really, really high. That was the problem last time too. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to set the cup right there. We're going to layer our cup. The first thing I always put in is um, some of this background color. It makes it have like a real 3D kind of look when you do this. When you put um, the same background color that you're using as your base coat in your cup first. Okay. Now I want to try to do small layers and be able to do this layering like twice and then not have it be extremely full. That's the plan. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of white. And then yellow, the yellow that we made. Again, small layers because we don't want to have this cup be overfilled again. <laughs> now we're going to do gold and then white. Not too much gold because this tends to take over. And the, a lot of the deco art metallics will take over. They have a tendency to anyway. I'm going to do a little more white. This is just a separation layer, basically. I'm going to do the orange, not the background orange, but the one that I mixed just a little bit darker. And I want to try to go heavier on the magenta and a little less on the purple because it seemed like I lost a lot of my magenta last time. It was like all on the edges, so it kind of got tilted off. Okay, now we're going to do some white and gold again. This is just because I don't want the magenta right next to the orange. I feel like that might make a weird color. I don't want that. And then a little gold. Now we're going to do magenta. I'm going to go a little heavier with the magenta. And then blue. I just want a little bit of this blue. This is just like a highlight color. Okay, and then we're going to go purple. This is the dioxazine purple. going to repeat this process. You get mad when I ask what you're doing Cut me up all night, feeling stupid For wondering where you are And why we play this same game Every other weekend With my heart in the palm of my hand Throw it all apart is like so and you kind of just have to go for it and not really like think about it and just like flip it okay so you want your arm against your rib cage your like elbow here against your rib cage and then we're gonna flip it over okay so one two and <laughs> okay one two and we're gonna hope that it doesn't go everywhere this time and three. Not too bad. Last time I went like more, so that's good. 
right, so since we don't have um, a pin in it, we have to give it a few minutes to percolate and for all the paint to like rush down because there's no pin to release all the air. So you want to give it a few minutes to do its thing. Um, so I would give it, I don't know, at least like two or three minutes. That's just me though. I like to let it set and do its thing and percolate because then all the cells will come out and stuff. So. so my goal for these is I want this one to be a little bit different than the last one but to still to where it looks like they go together if you will. So we'll see if I achieve that or not. I see some air bubbles so I'm just going to pop them since I'm here. I still have like a lot of paint left over, so I might be doing these colors for a while. We'll see. And I'm just gonna kind of tap on it to help it like come out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up, and then I am going to wreck it with the lip of the cup. I like doing that a lot lately. It gives it a lot of cool lines and like movement and it makes it look like really organic and like a landscape kind of feel and I really like that. So I'm gonna lift her cup up and I think I'm gonna come this way. Oops, I don't mess up our painting here. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna try to bring it like this way. One, two, and... Okay, it's really pretty, really pretty actually. It looks very cool. I really like this already so far. It has more magenta in it, which that's good. So I'm going to take the lip of her cup and then just wreck it just to give it some more lines and movement. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go like this. You kind of just have to go for it and not think about it and just be brave and just do it and not think about that you're ruining it because it actually makes it look better. So, okay. One. You get mad when I ask what you're doing. Cut me up all night. Feeling stupid. Okay, so we're gonna tilt. Let's see what happens with this. If I end up not liking it, I can always pour another cup, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to go this way and try to leave negative space that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to come this way and you want to tilt really slow. Like, if you don't, you're going to end up with wonky cells or with paint like rolling over your other paint that you can tell when you're tilting too fast because yeah your cells will get really wonky and then the paints will start like rolling over the top of your puddle which yeah that shouldn't happen okay so let's see let's see where our paint wants to go okay I'm gonna come down this way I'm going to try to go pretty slow here. I'm going to try. I'll have like most of it, I'll have like the beginning of this in real time, but then you guys probably don't want to sit here and watch me tilt this slow for this long, so I'll speed it up after a little bit. I really, really like these colors together though. I didn't think I would like this base color as much as I do, but I do. Okay, so it down a little bit there. <laughs> Going back to the center. Um, I just go, I just, this is just kind of how I tilt. I kind of like to do it slowly so I don't lose shape of anything. I learned the hard way in the past that I have to tell really slow for myself, like to get 
good results. Some people I say go really fast, but I just I just can't do that. Doesn't work for me. Okay, so we're gonna go towards this bottom corner. That's the plan. You get mad when I ask what you're doing. Cut me up all night, just feeling stupid. Wondering where you are and why we play this same game every other weekend. With my heart in the palm of your hand, tear it all apart. Why let you do it? This is just so typical. I'm sick of love. here so one two and three okay I'm gonna give that a minute I just feel like I could do something better I don't know we'll see you get mad when I ask what you're doing Cut me up all night, just feeling stupid I'm wondering where you are It looks better, it's more purple and pinkish Okay, I'm gonna do some little bands, just little ones You gotta make sure you have like the right amount of paint on here have too much otherwise it's like just little oh no <laughs> I'm gonna go paint over there <laughs> you get mad when I ask what you're doing cut me up all night just feeling stupid for wondering where you are and why we play this same game every other weekend with my heart in the palm of my hand Tear it all apart Why let you do it? This is just so typical I'm sick of love We're never sick enough to run from My edges cause this edge is definitely a mess and <laughs> definitely needs some fixing But I definitely like it better now that I poured that second cup. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling the composition of the first, but I really like this now. So sometimes if you're not happy, you can change it. Like, there's no rules that says you can't. So go ahead and pour another cup or scrape it or whatever you have to do, but you can fix it if you're not happy with it. So my thoughts on this piece. I really like the colors. I like the color combination. Um, I feel like I can see more of the magenta now that I added more in. It still kind of seems to get lost a little bit. And I'll um, show you guys in a few. Um, I mean, I can definitely see it more, but yeah, I feel like the other colors tend to take over more. So, and, and it tends to go on the edge more and then I lose it a lot of time. Um, the, I did good with not overfilling the cup, so that was good. Um, I did have to pour a second cup because I don't know, I just wasn't happy with it. It wasn't bad, it's just like, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it necessarily, so I just had to do it again. And sometimes it happens, like maybe you layered it just a little bit different or, you know, flipped it just a little bit different and you'll get like a totally different result. Um, what I think happened the first time, I think I might have wrecked it in parts that made it look bad when it was wrecked because like all the colors kind of like blended too much and it made this real purpley gray color. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on the edge here. But yeah, like that was throughout a lot of the painting and I didn't like that. But 
if that ever happens to you, you can fix it. You don't have to just settle for it. Um, I really like these colors together. I'm probably gonna be doing them for a little bit because I mixed up too much again. What else is new? Um, but yeah, I really like them. I'm gonna bring it down in a few and show you a close-up. And then once they're both dry, I'll put them side by side and show them to you. Um, but yeah, I really like how these came out. They came out really good. Um, yeah, I can't think of too much I would change. I just might have messed it up a little, but we got it. Okay, so here it is. I really, really, really like this. I like these colors together. Um, I like it better after pouring the second cup than the first cup. I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it or the composition didn't have a lot of interest. It was like, um, the way I wrecked it, like all the line, like it, all the colors like went together. Like it was like just this lightish purple gray color. There wasn't a whole lot of um, contrast or interest. I don't know what happened there, but it looks good now. So I'm gonna bring you in. So this is the side with our negative space. Okay, go over. So like this color right here the top there that grayish purple that's the color I'm talking about that they kind of all were when I wrecked it which is not bad it's just not what I wanted really like those cells there at the bottom those are cool and right here I like that part a lot too in the center okay, let's go back where we were this part's really cool. But yeah, I really, really like how this came out. I will show you them um, together as a pair when they're both dry. I will show you them and we'll put them together and I'm hoping they kind of like flow together a little bit. <laughs> we'll see though. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, let me know what you think about my, this, these colors. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, if there's anything I can answer, I can put that there. Um, but yeah, I hope you like these and I will see you next time on Nadine Michelle Art. Bye.